Do you remember when Nino Kuni Crossworld was proud of the millions of players that they'd accumulated over the course of its launch? Social media was swamped with players talking about praising the game. Reddit had tens of thousands of players all logged in, asking questions, engaging one another in discussion. Because as of today, there's barely any semblance of activity anywhere. Reddit literally has 30 people browsing right now at peak hours. Nobody's discussing the game over on social media. Netmarble have effectively destroyed their game and all for what, a few extra dollars in the short term? Before we go any further, I just wanna take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends, seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. Nino Kuni Crossworlds launched globally across PC, Android, and iOS devices on May 25th, 2022. That was three months ago. It launched to absolutely ridiculous, astonishing numbers, really millions of players. The game was gorgeous, it played well. Sure, it was very heavily autoplay, but realistically, that isn't too large of a deal breaker for me, and evidently for a lot of people when it comes to grindy Asian MMOs, especially grindy Asian MMOs on mobile. And the day it launched on May 25th began the inevitable decline of the game. Yes, the day that it launched. Initially, players found a clause in their terms of service that allow for them to terminate your account after 180 days of not logging in. On May 26th, I reported on the devs holding an event over on Discord, exclusively on Discord by the way, not publicly on social media. This event was only available to Discord members where they required their players to manipulate the rankings on the Google and Apple stores by leaving positive ratings, after which they'd be rewarded with in-game goodies as long as at least 10,000 people left reviews. They deleted the event and the channels on Discord after being called out for doing this, by the way, on the 27th, the day that I posted my video. On June 1st, it was confirmed that the devs were locking the best PvP gear behind a crypto paywall, severely inhibiting players, and you know what? When whales complain, you know that there's a problem. Two weeks later, on June 17th, was the release of the next Terminator movie, Bot Wars, where Netmarble's play to earn attracted more bots than real players, overloading servers, leading players to sit in queues of thousands, tens of thousands, taking several hours to log into the game, a game that more or less plays itself. On June 19th, there was an event held for players, and only players, that linked their crypto accounts with the game. Anyone that did not sign up for and link their crypto account could not participate in the event. Evidence that Netmarble just really don't care about its general players. Players that want to play it as a game, not as a job. Rather, they care about the players that are going to be making use of the play to earn. Something that earns them money and continues to artificially inflate their numbers. Admittedly, I stopped caring about the game after June and haven't really gone back since. However, I thought it'd be a good idea to, and taking a look at the absolute desolate state the game is currently in, both in-game and across every available social platform online, it's, it's honestly, it's kind of disappointing and disheartening this is how you fast track the death of your own game, a game that at its core isn't, or at the very least wasn't, even bad. Hopefully they learn from this mistake and make improvements before the Seven Deadly Sins Origins and solo leveling come out because I really want to enjoy those games. Now, if you're looking for something new to play and were severely underwhelmed by Cross Worlds, I got a list of the most played, most popular gacha games on screen right now, or alternatively, a list of confirmed gacha games yet to come this year. 